This is the first time I've ever seen a cobra in a cage, in person, or anywhere. And I'm glad he is behind this glass. Hey everybody, what's going on? Steel Boy here. Hope you're doing good and you are living the life. Well, it's time for an adventure. Well, not a huge adventure. I'm just taking you right outside of San Antonio to a popular roadside attraction. Most people here in Texas, they know what it is, and you're about to find out. So come on, let's get out of here and get the show on the road. Well, I made it to my location. The Snake Farm Zoo. Animal World Snake Farm and Zoo. It was established in 1967 to provide a home to an extensive collection of snakes and reptiles and other exotic mammals. With a loyal following, it quickly became, as I mentioned, a popular roadside attraction. And as you can see here, This is I-35. Back in the late 60s and I would say the 80s, this was pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Then with all the expansion, <laughs> look at it now. The animals have the right idea. They're keeping cool. There's a chicken with her chicklets. I haven't seen a chicken with chicklets since I was in Hawaii. They're all brown except for that one which is yellow. In 2007, it received new owners. Thus, it got a name change to the present one, Animal World and Snake Farm. We were just down there. It goes all the way down there. They have a little gift shop area here, which we will hit on our way out. He's watching us. We've got a cage here. And then they're in their little specific cages. You can see him chilling. He's right there. All of the exhibits go all the way down here in the middle then we have them on this side over here as well and all of these exhibits here all of these cages for the snakes have been renovated over the years so that way they remain safe, and we remain safe. And also this establishment is a fully accredited zoological park and houses over 500 different species of animals. This is the first time I've ever seen a cobra in a cage, in person, or anywhere. And I'm glad he is behind this glass. Okay. 
Smile for the camera. I didn't realize there were so many different types of rattlesnakes. I thought there was like a diamondback and a regular rattlesnake, but there's a tiger rattlesnake up here. Very informative. He's back there in the corner. A black mamba. As you can see, he's under the rock there. He's camera shy. He is hiding. Ooh, a spitting cobra. He doesn't need to spit on me. He's fine, just right there. He starts up there. He wraps around. He comes down there. Scrub python. He's all curled up. He's tired. And as we move up to the black milk snake. He's down here. And he's there. And his friend is right there. Oh, the milk snake. He's in there hiding somewhere. There's a Baja Boa. A python. And the thing, people have pythons as pets. There is a mandarin rat snake.
as we pan down to a Japanese rat snake right there. Jungle carpet python. Yes, indeed. He's burying himself in the sand because he's a king in sand boa. So he likes it in the sand. I just spoke to one of the gentlemen here who said they're getting ready to remodel all of these exhibits and uh, make it a little bit more pleasing for everyone. He said they're going to double up on some snakes and maybe just continue some snakes. I, I joke said, yeah, throw them out in the backyard. They'll survive in Texas. But yeah, they said they're going to be remodeling here pretty soon. He caught me by surprise. I didn't expect to see the alligator right there. Isn't he pretty? Aww. That would be Allie. Oh, that's Allie the alligator. Yep. Oh, hi Allie. <laughs> hi Allie. Smile for the camera, Allie. Hi. Allie the alligator right there. some pythons in here. We got the most obvious one. He is long. But not so obvious. There's one right up there. And from there, it's the Savannah Monitor. Some spiny monitors. Got a crocodile monitor there. And you can't see with the glare. And he's up there. So you can see him. You can kind of see him right there. Have a Nile crocodile right here. The reflection on the glass isn't great, but he's pretty big. And more snakes here. A Honduran milk snake. And I guess he's thirsty. He's in his water. He's in his water. It's over by his water right there. He's not in his water. He's not swimming like his friend. And if you work in the cornfields, there's a corn snake. Another milk snake. And yet another milk snake here. So many different species. And there is a western fox snake. If you come over here, you can see him in a corner. This is a Mexican king snake. And right there, we've got a boa. Brazilian red boa. A royal python. He's right there. And we have another king snake. He's right there. You can see him better there. Of a northern green rat snake, and he is in the back there. 
And we have Burmese python, another one. Right there. And his friend, right there. And we have the bats. Where's bats? Oh, right here, right here. I don't know if you can see these or not, but they're hanging up there. Right there. There's the bats. There's bats. Big yellow. There's one. Yeah, there's some in here. And there's a big. And over here, we have a Texas tortoise. There's the tortoise right there. And his home is right under the rainbow boa, which he's there to there. There's a little tortoise. He's just walking along. Red boa. California king snake. And a Solomon Islands boa. And we moved up to the spiny tailed iguana. He's hanging out right there on the rock. And his home is under the northern pine snake. And he's next to a red spitting cobra. Again, I don't want him to spit on me. There's a barren racer. There's a South American rattlesnake. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how There's a West African bush viper. He would be hard to see in the bush. He would be really hard. You gotta keep your eyes open for that little guy because he blends into the grass too. He bites you, you don't have long. Here's a red-tailed green rat snake. He's kind of active. He wants to get on camera. A diadem rat snake. And we have another pancake tortoise who immediately went in his shell when I put the camera in front of him. He doesn't like the camera. He's like, get that away from me. So we'll do that. We'll let him, we'll let him be on his way. The pancake tortoise. Molted rock rattlesnake. He does blend in with the rocks. Trans Pecos Copperhead. And a broad banded Copperhead. You can see the Copperhead right there. Here is a timber rattlesnake. And that snake there is the snake farm's top 10 venomous snake. So you get bit by him, you're gonna have a bad day. And here is a Colliver's Dwarf Cayman. Come over here. They almost look fake. Because they're not moving. Baby 
And there's a gargoyle gecko. He's right there. Maybe he can sell you some insurance. And then we have a Madagascar right there. And he's on the side. Right there. You see him? Coming up to an emerald tree boa. He's in the back there. And a green tree python. Right there. And a ring tailed lemur. 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 I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Lemur. 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 Right, he's over there. He's on the move. He's on the move. His friend up there is not. His friend up there is sleeping. But he is on the move. Now when the state farm originally opened, it mirrored a 1930 zoo and sat on three acres of land. When the new owners came in and purchased the place, they bought an additional 26 acres so they could expand. And expand they have. They have a wildlife zoo in the back and we're going to go check that out in a minute. So yeah, they're doing some good things here at the snake farm and zoo. Okay, we're going outside into the petting zoo. Wow, nice area out back here. We got picnic tables. Wow, well maintained and everything. And what wouldn't be complete without the roosters and the chickens. Hi, I don't have any food, sorry. They also have Asian small clawed otters. Nice habitat here for them. And these otters are smart. They are hanging out in the shade. This Texas heat, I don't blame them. Those ring-tailed lemures, lemures, lemure that we saw inside. There's a little hole up there where they were hanging out inside where they can come out in their outside habitat. But I don't blame them for staying inside. Ooh, it is hot. And we have a Eurasian eagle owl. He's hanging out right up there. And African Crested Porcupine. He's a little shy. He's in there. Besides the pinned up roosters, we have some loose ones. Flashbacks of Hawaii. <laughs> exactly. I'm assuming, yep, uh, right there, crocodiles. Let's see if you can see him over there. We have a spotted hyena here. And again, being Texas, he is in his little house. Smart. Gray wolf here, and I don't even see him anywhere. We have a capybara. We got him right there. The 
the white lion is also playing it smart. And staying inside. However, the jaguar is right there. They are out. One is sleeping, one is keeping his eye on me. But they have shade, so... They got some water there. But he is smart. Six banded armadillo. They are hanging out in the log. We have some monkeys here. An empty cage. But we have one up there hanging out. And besides him hanging out there, there's his friend. And his friend saw the camera and just rolled over. <laughs> oh, wow. And if you're a Disney fan, you had a warthog in The Lion King. And there he is, right there. And there's a little baby warthog with his mom. Playing in the mud. Getting cool. Baby. I guess that's the father. And we have some zebras. This rooster is making himself comfortable at the parrots. They have some parrots all along here. He's frozen. Frozen in time. Got a Hurix over there. And there's a raven. Ah. Don't get me started on the ravens. That's going to do it from the Animal World Steak Farm Zoo. I had a good time. I hope you did too. If uh, you like this vlog, please uh, give me a thumbs up or uh, leave a comment and let me know what you thought of it. If you're not a subscriber to my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button. I think you're going to like what you see here. Also, if you want to know when I uh, post a new vlog, please hit that bell notification. That'll let you know when I post my new vlogs. And. Like I said, that's going to do it here. So as always, this is Steel Boy. Catch you on the flip side.